Good morning. It is 6.23 a.m. on Friday, July 19th, 2019. I'm Christiana Ellis, and I just got up. This is five more minutes. So I went to bed pretty early last night, uh, and uh, I needed the rest for sure. The last couple of days I've been struggling a little bit. I feel like there, there's some additional factor other than just the amount of time I spend lying in bed asleep because I didn't get less sleep than usual in a week, but I was definitely feeling it uh, during the day, just feeling exhausted, like I haven't been getting enough sleep. And so sure enough, uh, I definitely went to bed early last night. And this morning, I feel, I don't know, may maybe better. The, the trick there, of course, is always that it's, you know, it's like if you spend three nights in a row not getting enough sleep, then just getting enough sleep for a normal night on one night doesn't make up for the deficit, it turns out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's kind of like if on Monday you're $100 in debt and on Tuesday you're $200 in debt, and on Wednesday, you're $300 in debt. And then on Thursday, you find $100. Doesn't make you <laughs> not still in debt. I think you guys probably got that without the analogy. It's fine, though. One thing, other thing, though, that I have been doing uh, this week is I've jumped back into doing another editing pass for... Uh, one of my novels that hasn't, you know, been seen anywhere publicly uh, yet. It's essentially finished. I'm just doing, you know, editing drafts, and I feel like I wanted to put one more pass on it before I am going to try again to do the agent search with this one. And I've kind of had that be the plan for a long time, but I also haven't worked on it recently. Uh, so jumping back into that has been nice. I have sometimes in the past had a pro had the issue that I think is familiar to a lot of creatives where uh, you write something and you're loving it while you write it and then you go back to it later and it feels like it's terrible and all you can see is the flaws and everything. And so I've certainly had that problem before, even including with this book on previous drafts, but I am feeling as I write this one that it's... I don't know, it's working for me. I feel pretty good about it. So that's nice. Um, I just need to go ahead and, you know, finish this pass and then actually do the work of uh, getting it, you know, actually doing something with it instead of not doing something with it as tends to be my default. Of course, that's really the default for anyone, right? You know, your creativity is always kind of a, a proactive uh, activity like it almost can't help not be right you know it's easier with inertia to let nothing stay nothing and so to make nothing into something is an active task and so I don't know I'm just spouting meaningless platitudes now but I think that like I don't even really remember what my point there was in any event, it feels good to sort of be trying to move that again. But the other uh, pitfall on that sort of thing is that it's also possible to endlessly tweak something instead of actually doing anything with it. And that's a pitfall that I have fallen into in the past. And uh, it's just like there's there's no... There's no definitive right answer uh, on these things, you know. Uh, yeah, <laughs> in the comments, Kimberly says, uh, philosophy is philosophical. Indeed. Uh, that's the thing, though, that especially in this era where new media, everything changes every couple of months, and you can't count on any particular model working more than once, and so this idea of uh, n there being a right answer that like clearly if you want to accomplish a goal 
this is the solution. This is the way to do it. That just doesn't exist anymore. There's too many different ways and there's no way to predict in advance what's going to be the right one and what's going to be the wrong. One. Well, I mean, I think there are probably lots of potential wrong ways to do it that you could eliminate ahead of time as being obviously wrong, but there's no definitive right answer and that's the concern, of course. So in any event, I'm trying to at least be still producing things even if I don't always know what to do with them. And so I've been feeling good about this week trying to uh, keep those wheels spinning a little bit more uh, than they have been recently. Well, okay, I should, I, I should not be too hard on myself here because uh, it's not so much that my creative wheels haven't been turning, it's that I've been focusing them on you know, like so many levels with Dungeons and Dragons and everything, which I really enjoy. And then I, and in fact, I enjoy it a lot in part because it has that immediate gratification, that feedback where I'm, I, you know, I run the session and everyone's involved and it's all happening right away, as opposed to something where I'm writing in a Word document and nobody else sees it and nobody else will see it for months and months and months, if then, and so uh, it doesn't have that immediate gratification. So I guess what I mean to say is not that I haven't been being creative, but that I am reopening a workshop part, you know, a part of the workshop that has been less active recently. Anyway, <sighs> I have to finish getting ready for work. So I will talk to you all tomorrow for five more minutes.